There are two main reasons why we want to recover the rocket. First, we want to find out if any part of the hardware got damaged during the flight. Second, we rely on the high resolution onboard data to prove that our rocket reached the desired altitude. With our telemetry systems, we are only able to transmit some basic data from our rocket, like the status or possible malfunctions. We are using a classical two-stage recovery system. This means that at Yabuchi, a drag parachute is deployed, which stabilizes the descent, but also makes sure that the rocket falls fast enough to not be carried away too far by the wind. At an altitude, of a few kilometers, the main parachute deploys and decelerates the rocket to a speed below 10 meters per second to land safely. To deploy the drog, a pyrotechnical device is used to separate the rocket. To deploy the main chute, we use a pyrotechnical line cutter. For the upper stage, we use a timer to deploy the drog, because it is really difficult to detect the apogee at these high altitudes. For the booster stage, we are using an apogee detection algorithm, which is based on the atmospheric pressure. The main parachutes are also deployed based on the atmospheric pressure. We are using commercial onboard computers as a backup for our in-house built onboard electronics. Furthermore, all pyrocharges are redundant to ensure a safe recovery. To find the rocket, we are using three independent telemetry devices. Two are in-house built trackers at 433 MHz and 144 MHz. One is a commercial satellite tracking module. If you have any further questions, we are happy to answer them in the comments below.